For my Valentine card today, I'm going to be using this stamp from Inka Dinka Do. This is a reverse stamp uh, where your ink is actually going to end up on the background. We could also consider this a collage stamp because of the different elements that are put together on one stamp. You can do this technique with, in, with any stamp, the background stamp or collage stamp, anything like this where you have sort of an all over image. It's hard to pick out and color in the individual components. Um, I'm going to be using some distress inks. I've picked out three colors that go very well together. I have tattered rose and tea dye and this Victorian velvet. So I'm going down from a pink down to kind of an orange uh, color. And I'm going to start here with uh, my lightest color, my tea dye. And I'm going to work by adding a little bit of ink to the very center of my stamp. And then I'm going to take tattered rose and I'm going to put that over on the outside edge, one side. And then Victorian violet. I'm going to put over on the other side. These will kind of blend together. Yep. And that will kind of get the colors mixed in together for uh, one of my images. Now I want to clean my stamp and do the same thing but move my colors around a little bit. This time I'm going to start with the Victorian violet in the middle. Make sure I get some good coverage of the middle. And then I'm going to take the tattered rose and put that on this side I think. And then I'll use the tea dye on the side I haven't worked with. And take another piece of white cardstock and ink this one up. And the look I'm going for here, I already have a couple of these uh, that I did before I started the video where I played around with the colors. This one has the uh, Victorian violet in the middle and my orangey tea dye color on, on this side. The idea behind them is just to have the, the color placements in different positions so that when I cut these out and stack them on the card they're not ex all exactly the same but they still have the same colors so that they blend together. Okay. All right, so I'm going to trim them out and I just trimmed them with scissors. I found that to be the, the simplest for an image like this, but you could certainly uh, trim them with a paper trimmer. And I've decided to use tea dye as the color that I'm going to um, uh, distress the edges with. So I'm going to get a little bit of the tea dye and run that around and just do all the edges with the same color. You could do different colors if you wanted. I'm doing a very light edging just to kind of finish it off, cover up that bit of white. Okay. Alright, and for my card background, I have a pink color and I have some orange uh, this is actually Peach Parfait from Stamping Up that I'm going to uh, use as cardstock to adhere my different uh, stamped images. Uh, I think the one I like the best I think is this one. I'm going to start uh, part way, not right in the middle, closer maybe two thirds, three quarters of the way down um, the uh, cardstock and then I'm going to layer the other two underneath and of course they'll be trimmed off. All right, now I'm just going to go to my paper trimmer and trim this off. And to finish up the card, I'm going to add a little bit of designer paper underneath this um, side. 
And I think I also want to add some ink to it as well. Okay, um, I'm also decided to add a postage stamp edge um, to the uh, to the card. So I'm going to glue all these layers together. And then I'll attach this to the card front. I've got a bunch of layers. I think I'm going to use some of these large glue dots. This is the memory book size glue dot. And a little ribbon, and we'll be about ready to add the finishing touches. Now since my uh, stamp already has a lot of words on it, I didn't really feel like this card needed a greeting. But I do think it needs maybe one other thing to kind of give it just a little extra Valentine's touch. I think I'm going to do one of these little um, wood hearts from Studio Calico. Love these wood elements. You can color these using markers or mists, or lots of different things. I'm just going to leave this one in its natural color. It goes really well with this. So there's my card for today. I'm a way to use your uh, background or your reverse or your collage stamps, however, you know, whatever kind of stamp you have um, that may pose a little bit of a challenge using the multiple colors of the Distress Ink um, and doing them in different patterns can give you um, an interesting look. Thanks for joining me today.